How to create a cafe restaurant website for beginners. Hi, my name is Adela Passos and I'm your course instructor for today. I'm a business coach and consultant, author of five best selling business books, and I've helped over 700 people start their own business. And today I have over 10,000 online students. You probably recognize my face from my show called What's Your Game Plan? Today, we have almost over 18,000 subscribers on the channel, and I've been featured in some of your favorite websites for teaching business and entrepreneurship. Now, let's get into the important stuff. There are several ways to create a website. The way that I'm going to show you today is the fastest and most cost-effective way, so make sure you're following each step, step by step. And please leave me a comment and feedback at the very end of the course. Step one, get a website domain name and WordPress hosting plan. So the first step in this process is to claim your website name and buy a hosting package. You'll want to go to Bluehost's website and look for a WordPress hosting plan. On their homepage, they're going to show you a wide variety of packages and different pricing for hosting a website with them. You can compare all the different plans and match them up to see what's included. For me, I'll just click the plan for $2.95 a month. On the next page is where you'll decide on what your website name is going to be. Just type in what you want and see if it's available. If the domain name is available, fill out all of the required information to set up your account and then scroll down to take a look at the package information. You're going to get the best deal by doing at least a 12 month package or more. There's also package extras like domain privacy, website security, and getting an email address that matches your domain name. I'm gonna go ahead and select all three extras and it's going to calculate a new total. After that, just put in your payment information and you should now have a website name and WordPress hosting. Step two, shop for a WordPress website template. So we're going to visit a website called Envato.com and type in cafe website WordPress in the search bar. What you're going to see is a long list of cafe website templates that are made just for WordPress. They come in various prices, so find one that you really like. Once you click on a listing, you're going to get to a page where you can view a live preview of exactly what the template looks like. This is called a demo. Here's a demo for a cafe website that I really, really like. And if I decide to buy this one, what I'll see is exactly what I'll get. Now keep in mind, you can customize the pictures, the text, and even the colors if you pay a website designer to do that for you. If you're pretty good at WordPress like me, you can save a couple hundred bucks by just customizing it yourself. Step three, download template and upload to Drive. So once you purchase your template from Envato, they're gonna send you to a download portal. And what you're gonna do is just hit download all files and documentation. And what that's going to do is download a zip file to your computer that has your WordPress template inside of it. Go ahead and create a new folder on your Google Drive and you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm gonna name mine WordPress template. Once that's all ready to go, go ahead and upload that zip file to that new folder. Once that file has completely uploaded, you're going to want to change the general access from restricted to anyone with a link. After you click anyone with a link, go ahead and copy that link by clicking on the button on the left hand side and then hit done. That link should now be waiting for you to send over to the website designer. Step four, find a website designer and get pricing. So now you should have a domain name, you'll have the website hosting, and you should have a website template. Head on over to a website called Fiverr and type in the words WordPress demo in the search bar. And what it will reveal are tons of people who are willing to help you get your website set up from $10 to about $120. All of these services that they offer 
are going to range in price. So you're gonna to need to do your research and see who exactly can help you set up the demo template and customize it if need be. Most WordPress website demos could be installed within a couple hours. So that means you can have a fully functional website ready in less than a day. And if you like what any of these sellers have to offer, you can go ahead and purchase one of their basic, standard, or premium plans. Or if you feel like you need something special, you can actually click the button over to the right hand side that says contact seller, and then you can click get a quote. This is going to prompt a form where you can tell the designer where you bought your website hosting, which demo template you want installed, and if you need it customized. You can also tell them how quickly you need your website delivered. Step five, prepare website content. So while you're waiting on your quotes to come back, you're gonna to need to put in some work. You're gonna to need to create all of the content for your website's pages. That means you're gonna need the text, the pictures, the videos, the pricing, the social media links. All of that information is needed to populate the new website. The best thing to do is to prepare the content by just putting it into a Word document. Label which part of the website it belongs to, and then you're going to give that information to the website designer so they can complete the customization process. Step 6. Order the website. So now you have all of your content done, and you've chosen a website designer to work with. What they're going to do is send you an invoice for the website design services. Once you pay for it, you're able to communicate with them about the details of the website. You can now send your logo, the images, the content, all back and forth through this chat portal, and you can message them at any time that you need to. Step seven, test the website and change your passwords. So once they complete your website and they deliver it to you, what they're gonna do is send you an administrative login and a password. So when you log in, you're gonna check the website and make sure it's everything that you want. The WordPress control panel looks like this. And what you're gonna do is log in, and then on the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna click users. And what you'll see is that they've set up a user account so that they can log in and out of your website at any time and make changes. And unless you're paying them to manage and do maintenance on your website, you're gonna to wanna to cancel their access to your website. So here you can do two things. You can log them out and you can just change the password for the admin account, or you can delete that admin account, add yourself as a new user and make your own new login and password for your website. And that's it. Congratulations on now having a new website. Thank you so much for watching. And if this course was helpful to you, please make sure that you like it, share it and tag your friends. The links to the websites mentioned in this video are at the bottom in the description. And until next time, guys, take care.